My husband was Staff Sergeant Eugene Alex. Um, he was part of the 172nd Striker Brigade out of Fort Wayne, Wright, Alaska. Um, he was an excellent father, great husband, um, good, fun, loving man. Um, loved to serve his country and mentor young soldiers. There's not a huge emphasis, I think, on a lot of people that aren't affected by military families. If they don't have a direct connection, they don't really acknowledge, you know, Memorial Day. They think it's, you know, it's a three-day weekend to take off and go and have barbecues and, and camp. But maybe just take a minute to actually even realize the sacrifices that families make that are, you know, in the guard. You know, they're civilian, trying to balance civilian life and, you know, military service. And then you have your active families that every day is, you know, military service. And they sacrifice a lot for us, moving every couple of years, giving up being stable environments for their families. Just to remember that, you know, there's a lot that we give. It's not just the soldiers, it's the families too. I hope that Eugene's remembered um, for the rest of, you know, everyone's lives and, and for the next generation to people to know the legacy that these men ha and women have laid down for us and what they've given up. It really does mean the world to General Vadenay and the governor and I to host you here uh, each year. And the fact that you, you keep on coming back and uh, keeping the, the memory alive, not just of the, of the person that you're here representing, but, but all of those who, who came before. So I hope when people reflect not only on the difficult things, the challenges you face because you've lost someone, uh, this can be a place where this can bring us all together as Americans to say we should learn to set aside the anger. We should learn to set aside those differences. It's fine to have a different viewpoint, a different opinion, but how you can do it with respect, civility, and understanding is what we need to focus in on to make us an even greater country. So I hope you look at today through the weekend as a beacon of hope, as a way to bring people together in a way that we wouldn't traditionally think of because we all care about you. And I hope that's a meaning that we can spread to people to understand uh, America's at its best when we're rallying to help one another as good neighbors, as friends, and make things happen that way. So I thank you for the opportunity to share with us today, to be with us today, um, to have an opportunity to hear what's going on in your lives, both the positives, the negatives, and to the degree there's negatives, if there's things we can do to help. We recognize the sacrifice you've made. We can never say thank you enough, but we're proud to do events like this so we can at least make sure you know our hearts are with you. So thank you so much for joining us today. God bless you and God bless America.